Hello everyone, my name is Ozzy, and today I'm going to show you how to plug in your keyboard. What? Well, nope, that's not your keyboard. I'm going to show you how to plug in your keyboard with your brand new iPad. So I bought an iPad a couple weeks ago. This is the iPad Air 5th generation with the M1 chip, and it has been great. I've been able to use the Apple Pencil with it, and I've been able to learn a lot of cool things, um, and how Apple has integrated the pencil with the iPad so well. But the one thing I can't get away from is using a keyboard. I just love the feeling of a keyboard. It's just different than the Apple Pencil. And I was in the market to try to get a new keyboard. Now, they do have the Magic Keyboard that they make specifically for the iPad Pro, but it's quite expensive. So I, I opted out for something different. So this is the closest thing that I found to the Apple Magic Keyboard. Apple makes a specific one, which is really nice, but it's about $300. Um, this is the next best thing. It's made by Apple. It has a similar design language, and um, I'm really used to this. It's small, it's compact, and I think that I can take this along with me wherever I go with my iPad, and I wanna test it out. So I wanna connect this to my iPad, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. And if you have one of these at home on your iMac, you can plug this into your iPad and take notes just like how you would on your computer. Pretty much what you got with these keyboards is that they're Bluetooth. Um, in this case, with this keyboard, it's got a little button here on the side that you can see. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna press down on that so that we activate the Bluetooth and we're gonna see the little light blinking. Once it's blinking, I'm gonna take you to the iPad and I'm gonna show you how to pair it. So let's click on this and have it blink. Alrighty guys, so once we're in here, uh, we're gonna go to our settings once we're in our settings on your left hand side here, we're gonna see Bluetooth. Go ahead and click the Bluetooth. It'll bring you to this list. Now, you gotta make sure that your keyboard is blinking. Press down on the button in a few seconds, three, five seconds. Once you see the little green light on your um, Apple keyboard blinking, we're gonna see it pop up. In this case, my keyboard's name is System Administrator's Keyboard. So let's go ahead and click that. We're gonna get this number here. We're gonna type in 4210. And there you have it, it's connected. Now, this is awesome. So now this is connected and we're able to take notes. If we go into our iPad here just really quickly, I'm gonna open up a new set a new set of notes. And as you can see, I have my keyboard here. I'm gonna go ahead and start typing. This keyboard is now connected. So that was pretty simple. In this case, it was just a few numbers that we had to type in to just ensure that the keyboard is connected and you're able to go ahead and use this through your web browsing, through your notes, and whatever it is that you wish to use your keyboard on. Now, the reason that I went with this keyboard specifically is that it's small, it's not a huge keyboard, and it's very thin. So you can put this in your backpack, you can take this with you, it's not heavy, it uses two batteries, and well, this model uses two batteries, and you'll be able to travel with this fairly easy. It's almost just as big as the iPad, so if you put them in comparison with themselves. So look at that. Put them next to each other. They're not bulky. It's actually really nice. Other keyboards might be bulky, and I know this is not the best, this is just an alternative for the Magic Keyboard that is worth so much. Maybe you might be able to find something through eBay uh, through the secondhand market for just a slight discount. But if you're wanting to try the iPad with a keyboard, I think this is a good alternative to a specific case with an integrated uh, keyboard. Those cases with the integrated keyboard that are not the Apple ones, maybe there might be some nice ones. I know Logitech probably makes a really nice case, but those keyboards are not the best quality. This keyboard is specific, it's aluminum, it's very stiff, very strong, very nice when typing, and I personally really love this. I've used this keyboard for the longest time, and it's, it's, held, it's held up pretty nicely. Like I said, I've only had my iPad for a couple weeks, and um, slowly I'm starting to build my setup, and this has been a great addition to it, and I think that you'll be able to get great value from this as well. So. Let me know what you think. If you're interested in purchasing one of these Apple Magic Keyboards, please look at my link below. I got an Amazon affiliate link. I get a little bit of a kickback. So if you're interested, it'll help me out. Also, I'm gonna be posting more videos on my iPad and my setup. So if you're interested, give me a follow. And I've linked a couple other videos on my iPad here for you to take a look.